Uh, okay, so, uh, hello, and uh, welcome to my first ever proper official YouTube video on this channel. Um, making this video is something that I've been wanting to do for a while now, and today I just thought, you know, why not? I've ran out of excuses, so why not just do it now? Uh, this video is kind of just an introduction to this channel and expect an ex like and explaining what it is, what it could become, and uh, yeah, just a general kind of introduction. So I've uploaded five videos on here previously, which are my four short films and that one little thing I made when I was bored a while ago on like all my favorite films. But this is kind of like the start of something new for here. I wanted to expand what I do on YouTube. I, I was. I was thinking of I was thinking of creating like a whole new channel and just leave all my filmmaking related stuff on here but I thought you know why not just combine them and because uh, I've kind of built a bit of an audience on here so I may as well stay. So uh, I've got just a list of bullet points here that I want to go over quickly for the first uh, video the kind of introdu introduction here. Um, the first one is like I don't really want this channel to have a specific theme like films are probably going to be the main one but I, I but obviously like I, I do want to do things on just all sorts like music or video games or just kind of anything that's on my mind really like reviews or rankings or just just talking like I just want to do what I want here and not be confined to a specific like genre I guess uh, also I don't really want to have like an upload schedule like I made this thing just have a bit of fun and I feel like an upload schedule will turn it into a kind of a chore and I feel like it'll be a bit less fun the more it goes on I may upload like once a day or once a week or maybe even like just a couple times a month it all just depends on like how much time I've got I guess the closest thing to um, uh, upload schedule was uh, I want to do like a what I watched this month kind of series, the one that like Carson Runquist does, because I feel like they could be fun. So yeah, just like one of those once a month would probably be the closest thing I'll ever have to schedule. Um, also, me expanding this channel absolutely won't stop me from making short films. Those will like still be my top priority, but uh, this is just something to, you know, like I said, just have a bit of fun with and see where things go. So yeah, those shouldn't be coming to a halt anytime soon. I do want to. I, I do have a lot of ideas that I want to do, and uh, yeah. Um, I think that's kind of everything that I wanted to go over here. If I think of some more, uh, I'll say them later in another video. But uh, yeah, I don't know what else I could do in this video. Um, I could do a small little room tour. Yeah. Okay, I'll do that. Okay. So uh, starting off uh, here, the wall. Uh, kind of just above my bed, is uh, kind of like my pride and joys, my little babies, if you will. Three of my favourite films of all time and three of my favourite posters of all time. Uh, yeah, not much to say on there. I, I, I'll probably make dozens of videos on Star Wars in the future, so yeah, I don't really have much to say. Uh, this, is, this is the setup at the moment, you know, very professional, I know, uh, but yeah, hopefully if I start making a bit more money, I can kind of upgrade something to. Uh, I can upgrade to something a bit more special, but uh, you know, it's just kind of three pillows stacked on top of each other. So um, yeah, also the equipment that I'm using to record, they are they're quite new, and I haven't really explored everything yet. So if if anything seems kind of off with the uh, video or audio at all, then uh, I'll hopefully be able to fix it in the future. This is just kind of like, like a little trial video. Um, going across here, I've got uh, Pulp Fiction and uh, Kill Bill posters. You know, Pulp Fiction, I always credit for the film that sort of kind of started my love for films. So, I mean, probably wouldn't even be watching this video if it weren't for this film. So, yeah. And then uh, Kill Bill right next to it, kind of the. Oh, my wall with little Tarantino there. Uh, here, actually, uh, I've got. Freddie Mercury, John Deacon, and uh, Brian May, Brian May, Funko Pops. Uh, I've been looking for a uh, Roger Taylor one for so long now, and I just can't find one. But uh, yeah, it's just stuck as a trio for now. But hopefully, I can find a Roger Taylor one sometime in the future. 
And uh, just at the back there, I've got Luke and Darth Vader from uh, The Empire Strikes Back. Pretty cool here. And uh, on the door, I've got uh, David Bowie, Aladdin Sane. No, I love David Bowie a lot. And while this album isn't really my favourite, I mean, that picture is kind of just honestly one of the most iconic in music history. And then uh, Diana is Queen again. Like my favourite group of all time, my favourite artist of all time. Just incredible. I, I don't think there'll ever be a time where Queen isn't on top for me. So yeah. Uh, and then also I've got a Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild poster. Kind of my favourite game ever, I'd say. Or top, top two, top three at least. But uh, yeah, and that poster I like as well. One of my favourites, I'd say. Uh, down here, there's a uh, Jurassic Park one. It's, uh, I mean, yeah, it's Jurassic Park. It's a great film. I, I and this poster as well. I, I like a bit. I like a lot. And uh, ET on this corner as well. Kind of like my little bit of Spielberg there. Um, and Scarface poster. Uh, this is uh, this was given to me about by a friend, I think. And uh, yeah, I like that. Like this film was one of the ones that kind of, like Pulp Fiction, almost kind of set me off onto movies. But uh, yeah, and that the design of that poster as well is really nice. Then uh, on this side, I've got another gangster film, Once Upon a Time in America. I think this is the most expensive poster I own. I don't really want to say how much it is, how much I got it for, but um, yeah, I I, I certainly had a had a phase with this film and uh, yeah I still really like it a lot and that, that post is cool as well and then uh, over here we've got Back to the Future, my little Back to the Future like memoir bit I guess not memoir, that's not the right word but yeah you know what I mean and then uh, so we've got the poster obviously and then the uh, Funko Pop of Marty in 1955 and the Lego DeLorean and uh, trilogy on Blu-ray though and then uh, a couple of DVDs and then that's the camera that I used for that one short film the black and white one um, it, it was like a pretty cheap camera from like China I think it only worked once it doesn't work anymore so yeah I don't, I don't really know why I've still got it and um, yeah and then up the top here got the Wizard of Oz not just one of my favorite films of all time, but that that poster also seems is also like really nice. I like that poster a lot. It feels pretty like rare to find it, honestly. And uh, yeah, that's the whole wall there. And over here, there's Rocky, like another film that was incredibly influential to me. I only watched it for the first time like last year, I think. But yeah, certainly certainly had an impact on me in just that year. And then. Uh, here is the Christmas stocking. It's December 5th, I, th I think, when I'm recording this. But uh, yeah, Nadolig Tawen, which is Merry Christmas in Welsh. I lived in Wales for like uh, nine years, I think. So yeah, and then two Titanic posters. Um, I got these in like a poster book, I think, for like $2 on the side of the street. It was. There's a bunch more somewhere, but uh, these are the only two that's kind of worth keeping. And then I've got a 101 movies to see before you die scratch off poster. Um, hopefully I'm showing these well, but uh, yeah, I, I don't I'm pretty close on this poster. I'm like 75% there, but uh. Yeah, the the ones that I want to see the most, I'd say, are like the apartment, uh, the third man, Persona. I've heard is really good, and then um, yeah, and Apocalypse Now is also like one that I've been wanting to see for a while. Uh, over here, I've got uh, this this bit's kind of a mess at the moment, but um, I've got a, the art of mine by Totoro, and then uh, just underneath there's a uh, Quentin Tarantino. But kind of just going over him and all his films and stuff. That's what I'm using to record the sound. Uh, I don't, I, I don't understand it fully. But um, so yeah, again, like I hope it all sounds okay. But if it's not, then I'll 
fix it up in the later video. But um, yeah, over here. Actually, I'll go up here first. Uh, it's my like wall of Lego Star Wars. Pretty high up, so I'm probably not getting the best angle. But uh, yeah, some of my favorite sets are up here. And uh, yeah, pretty pretty cool. Lego Star Wars. I've I've probably spent the most money on that out of out of like everything I've got. So uh, yeah. And then uh, my neighbor Totoro, little like three D thing here. Another my neighbor Totoro thing, but yeah, it's pretty cool. And then uh, Seven Samurai, little like pamphlet thing. I got this when I went to see Seven Samurai with my dad at the cinema and um, the cinema I went to they were doing like a bunch of Akira Kurosawa films in the next couple of months and I thought there were going to be like these kind of things everywhere but uh, there wasn't so I was kind of planning on having like a nice little mural here but I'm just it's just this one at the moment but yeah still pretty nice let me get to these shelves, I guess I'll go from top to bottom. We've got uh, Elliot, E.T. and Gertie, all from E.T. obviously. E.T. is like, probably like my third or fourth favourite film ever made. I love that film a lot. And uh, Reagan Puking from The Exorcist. Uh, Leatherface from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And Hannibal Lecter from Silence of the Lambs. Kind of a little like horror bed up here. And uh, Indiana Jones. This one's from Dial of Destiny, I think, because he's got a bit of a grey beard. But, um, yeah, not my favourite Indiana Jones film, but it certainly gets too much hate. And a uh, Wally. I think this is one of my favourite Funko Pops I own. I just like the uh, detail and design of it all. Then a uh, Sauron from The Lord of the Rings. It says it glows in the dark, but I, I haven't seen it do that yet. But, uh, yeah, still, you know, holding out hope that it will one day. And then, uh, over here, we've got Michael, Vito, and Sonny Corleone from The Godfather. Uh, yeah. Now, going down a shelf, I've got my shelf of Harry Potter, Lego. Uh, I've got all the characters up there, and Hogwarts down there. Uh, that at the back, I would get it out, but um, I've got my hands full at the moment. That's like the uh, wand I got from uh, Harry Potter World, because, you know, just like every... Every eight-year-old kid in the UK I had a ha Harry Potter phase and I went there for my birthday, I think. And yeah, it's uh, Voldemort's wand. I might get out one day, but uh, staying at the back there. And, uh, yeah. Going down a shelf, I've got the uh, Indiana Jones Lego set. Um, Woody with RC. Toy Story is... Uh, I like it a lot, obviously. Toy Story 3 is in contention, like tied to with Pulp Fiction for my... Number one favorite film ever, and uh, yeah, got the Riddler, the Batman up here from obviously the Batman, and Joker, Batman, Superman, and the Batwing, I guess. Uh, going down a shelf, I've got my uh, Marvel shelf. Again, all the characters along the front there. I don't love Marvel as much as I used to, but uh, yeah, I like this shelf. There's not really much I'd change about it, even though. Like I said, I don't love Marvel that much. I, I still like it. And it holds a special place in my heart for sure. But uh, yeah, now I've got the uh, collection of DVDs here. I won't go uh, too, de too in depth into all these because I want to make a a, uh, a a longer video on all of them. But uh, yeah, when I first wanted to make this channel, this collection is probably like half its size, so it would have been a lot shorter video. But uh. Yeah, hopefully I can get through all of it. And um, yeah, I think that is about it. So uh, yeah, like I said, um, welcome to this channel and uh, hopefully this video can be the start of something new. And uh, yeah, uh, hope you enjoyed and uh, yeah, I'll see you in another video. Okay, goodbye.